I can't find my rangefinder. But we just got settled in here in Los Angeles, in Brackettville. And the biggest buck I've ever had the opportunity to shoot just walked out. Biggest deer of my life, Yarbo. Blood, blood, blood. Oh yeah, right there, Jeremy, right there. Doug, you Doug. <laughs> you find it? Bam! All right, <laughs> all right. Where is he? He is right here. And he all is. piled up. Woohoo! Craziest hunt of my life. We started this hunt in September the 1st. And, uh, man, this buck came in this morning. It was just too early. Couldn't get any daylight. It wasn't quite enough daylight. And then I come to find out that there was enough daylight. And I thought he was gone when he left. I started spraying my, spraying my black widow. He came back, he came back around, he came back over here, man. 20 yards, the blood therapy and the PSE evolved. Finally, it's been, what is today, October? October the 11th. So 41 days for me to kill this deer. First blood of the year with a buck. He's not the biggest deer that we've seen, but he's old enough, he's mature enough, and uh, he needed to get killed. He needed killing. As my old buddy Catfish would say, he needed killing, and he's killed. Booyah. Coming into this afternoon, son. Go hang this sand blaster up. Put me some black with a deer lure in it.
moly. Oh yeah. Gosh almighty nose. Woo! <laughs> man, oh Look man. Look at that son of a gun right there. Thank you, Lord. Man, patience pays off, don't That's it? That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Doug. Holy cow. Scrape right here that he hasn't worked in a while. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a stick, do that, pull out my scrape beads. I like to mash them in just a little bit. Sure, if everybody does that or not, but mash them. Take the scrape master, I'm gonna just spray it all over this, let it just naturally kind of drip down. And I'm gonna take a little bit, just pour it in there myself. I go through a lot of this a year because deer don't just pee a couple of drops, I mean, they. They let it flow just like you do. Hey y'all, Kyle Lott here with Smack TV, and I want to talk to y'all about something that uh, I get questioned on a lot of times, and a lot of people that, that deal with Black Widow get questioned on a lot of times, and that is what I have in my hand here. The gold label and the red label. The gold label being the northern deer, and the southern being the red label. And uh, we get questioned about, is this a marketing scheme? Is there any science behind it? And uh, Black Widow is ahead of the game, and they've been ahead of the game for 15 years. And when I mean, why are they ahead of the game? They're the only deer lure company that does this, that bottles deer from a northern deer and a southern deer. There's been research by Dr. James Kroll, which is better known as Dr. Deer, about the different um, types of, of subspecies, the northern subspecies being coming off the Boralis subspecies and the southern deer coming off of the Virginianus subspecies and they're different. They're different bodies, they're cousins. So with that, they're going to give off different smells, different secretions when they, when they urinate. Their urine is going to be different. So, um, you know, the, the gold label for your northern deer guys, there's research proven that the northern deer gives off different secretions than the southern deer and uh, so as what they eat you know and the old age says you are what you eat so there has been research about it this is not a marketing thing so if you're in the north 
use the gold label. If you're in the south like we are, use the red label. And anyway, y'all check out Blackwood of Deer Lures and uh, there is scientific proof that these two different deer actually have different secretions and smells in their urine. So check them out, blackwoodofdeerlures.com. Well, we have just made it in to Flemingsburg, Kentucky. Brute Buck Outfitters just gave James a call and uh, he should be here. So we're going to roll in. He says he's got a really, really nice deer coming in to, it's pretty cool, to a tobacco barn, uh, which is good because it's going to be raining for the next couple of days. So we might be sitting in a tobacco barn, but we just pulled up. And uh, we're going to go in here and see what's going on and look at some trail cameras and see what's up. So we're about to go inside. What's going on, fella? Good evening, good evening. Good to see you, man. Here, here we got some good bucks. Hey, we got a few on camera in daylight. Good. A lot of nighttime activity, but we got some good ones in daylight. Well, good. Well, I'm going to try to come up here and clean up what Kyle left for me. Hey, there we go. We so can do that. We can do we that. We can do that. Come on Let's in, a little bit cool out here. Let's get on in. Yeah, come on in. So is that the deer that you're wanting me to kind of shoot right there? That's one of them. Uh, he's broke. Okay, he's, he's broke, he's so he's not, he's, yeah, his, he's not his, for me. His left broke. side he's is completely uh, broke all broke off. off. Uh, other than his brow tie that you can see right here. And Would it's you rather him broke. wait? Would you, I mean, doesn't matter. Hey, if, if he walks in and he makes you smile, shoot him. Sticky. Yeah. All right, so we got our scent blaster out and we got the 4S and it's still full of black widow. Let's see if it works. shed his horns and we had seen this one on the trail camera and I wanted him. Man! A slick horn giant! Oh! Man! How awesome! James, look at this deer, buddy. This is the one that we had on trail camera. That's him right there. Look at the mass. The sheer mass. And I told you I didn't think he was broke. He wasn't broke. He's just slick as can be. He is slick as can be. But look at the mass. How awesome is this Kentucky giant?
Black Widow Deer Lure and the Khmer Deer uh, all work to our advantage. Let's get down and see how big this buck really is. All right, well, we've gotten down. This is where the deer was at. It's raining. I'm not going to look for blood right here. I know where he, the angle that he went on, so that's where we're about to go. Look. See exactly where he's at. There's your man. Not a burning bright, deep blood broke off inside of him. You know that's always lethal. He's right there. Let's go get him. Let's go put our hands on this south wind beast. <laughs> Come right here and look at this. Look at that, you talking about perfect. Heart shot, perfect. Heart shot, perfect. South wind. Let's move on this go. Look at this beast mm -hmm. of a buck right here from Southwind Whitetails. Mm 